Hey guys, John here. Today we're taking a look at Bitwig's EQ+. Bitwig's definition of this module is a drawable equalizer supporting up to eight bands and adaptive Q. Now EQ+, shares quite a lot of the same functions and controls as EQ2 as well as EQ5. And personally, this one's my favorite EQ in Bitwig as it's incredibly fast to dial up parameters. So to create an EQ band, we simply click on the graph wherever we want it. We can also right click on the node to pick from quite a lot of different options. If we hover our mouse over the left side of the graph, the cursor becomes a high pass. If that's what we want, we simply click and drag to put it where we want it. And the same works for a low pass as well. Go right over here and do that. Now, what we can also do is if we want a low shelf or a high shelf, we put our cursor in the center and we can do a low shelf like this, or we can go here on the right hand side and do a high shelf like that. On the top of the EQ, we have shift, which can shift the EQ curve plus or minus 36 semitones. And again, this is a really cool parameter to modulate with a key tracker. To the right of that, we have the output gain plus or minus 24 dB. And to the right of this gain, we have something called range. Now by default, this is gonna be on 10. We can go to 20 or 30. Now this is useful, for example, we have this band here, we can go all the way here to the top and it's going to stop us at 10, but we can go down here and increase this to maybe 20 or 19 or something like that. And we can't see what's going on here anymore. So this is going to be useful so we can hit 20 so we can kind of see what's going on there or we can hit 30 if we want to see a little bit more like that. Next, we have the button here on the top right. Now this is called adaptive Q and will proportionally adjust the band's Q based on the gain. So if we had a band like this and we went up like that or went down like that, let's say we go up here to the top. Now we don't really notice it changed too much, but if we turn this off here, we can see that there's quite a difference as we increase the gain. Now, whenever we have a band selected something like this and we make a change, sometimes we want to listen to the output of this band and we can do that inside a Bitwig with a speaker down here on the left-hand side. So let's go ahead and play some music. And now we can adjust it where we'd like to. Now, a much faster way to do that is these arrow icons right over here above the number. And as soon as you let go, it goes back to how it was. So from a default preset here in EQ+, down here at the bottom, we can see the analyzer options, so the pre and the post. So if we just want to listen to the pre or the post, if we're changing in a view right here, all we have to do is select this one here and go over to the analyzer. We can toggle off the pre, toggle off the post, or have them both on, or have them both off. Now, if we have both of these on, what we can do is see the resolution. By default, this is gonna be on medium. We can do huge if we want a little bit higher resolution there, and then we can change the speed. By default, this is gonna be on medium, but we can go to very fast or to freeze. So taking a look here at the inspector panel, we can see the eight different slots here for all the bands that we have. Now, if we're not using any of them, they're gonna be on off and the ones that we are using are gonna be populated here. And here we can change the frequency, we can change the gain, we can change the Q. And then down here at the bottom, we have the same options we have here. So for the analyzer, pre and post, the resolution, the speed. But down here we have something called tilt and by default, this is gonna be on 4.5 dB per octave. Now, 4.5 dB per octave resembles more how we hear sound, and we know that white noise is all frequencies to equal amplitude, but it sounds to us like it has more high end. Now, this is what the analyzer is going to show in this mode. If we change this to zero, we're going to see more of a flat frequency response if we're sending white noise through it. So let's take a second and look at that real quick. So here, all I have is Zebra HZ with one noise module sending stereo white noise out. Now, if I play a note, and this is going to be on the EQ 4.5 dB per octave, so the default, and it's going to sound to us like this white noise has more high end than low end. And this is what the analyzer shows. But in reality, white noise is equal amplitude, so what we can do is change this tilt down to zero. And that's what it actually looks like. So below the tilt option, we have something called range. Now range has a minimum and a maximum value, the minimum on the left-hand side and the maximum on the right-hand side. Now minimum is gonna be the quietest amplitude displayed and the maximum is gonna be the loudest amplitude displayed. Right underneath range, we have a very cool feature called reference. So what we can do is we can bring in a reference signal that is displayed inside our EQ. And with that, we can kind of know if something's clashing with our sound. So for example, I have this ARP here. 
and this EQ is on this ARP. Now we have a kick drum in the background as well. Now let's say maybe something's clashing with the kick drum inside this ARP, and I wanna see both of those signals inside this EQ. So with reference, we can do that. So we just click here where it says none, and I'm gonna go on drums, and now we can either go pre or post. For this example, I'll just go pre, and now we can take a listen to this here. Now this purple line is gonna be the spectrum of the kick drum. So I can now EQ this ARP and kind of work with the kick drum so they're not masking each other. And what's cool as well is maybe the shading in the background is gonna be a little bit distracting. I just wanna see the output so I can go to the analyzer, take off pre and then take a listen. We can maybe do something like that, or we can double click and maybe we just want to high pass it like this. So yeah, this feature is very, very cool and I highly suggest to try it out. All right guys, well that wraps up this video about Bitwig's EQ Plus. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next device video.